Paris Crawford versus Fence, man. Who um, would you favorite? I mean, a lot in of that people fight? would say, you know, um, Spence is at one forty-seven. Well, there's there's that weight class difference, right? But both guys are big anyway. For me, I've always believed in the capability and the talent that that Crawford had and showed. You know, the thing is, he starts slow, and you can't start slow with with Spence. He picks. It yeah, up. He's a freight train. Picking it up. You know, and that's 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 the thing is mm -hmm. when 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 it becomes a momentum, when when Spence has that momentum, it's very difficult to stop him. It's like a train, you know. Now, do I say I I say Crawford is the more talented fighter, one hundred percent. You know, when it comes down to it, he's he's a more talented fighter. He can fight both sides. He got speed. He got power on both hands. You know, but he needs to pick up the the fight, and then if he does shows up right from the get-go you know what that that's a that's a that's a crawford fight you know but if he if he lets spence dictate and and start his momentum early that's a spence fight you know that's why we want to see this fight and people are going crazy over this fight is because it needs to happen but unfortunately you know uh, we're not getting it And what does necessarily Spence, you know, have to do to be able to break this this rhythm, you know, because the thing about what uh, Terrence Crawford is, is that, you know, he's a he's a great adjuster. You know, he yeah. makes the adjustments right on the fly. So saying if, if Crawford does show he up early, to what would Spence he needs, have to do? He needs do? to pressure him. He needs to jab in his chest and set up on his face and then set him up, you know, just go right there and push him off, keep him off balance. Because when you keep him off balance, guys like that, it's very difficult for them to come back. You know, they got to restart. They got to reset, you know, and he's just got to come up there, high hand and everything, good defense, you know, break down the body. Don't worry about the head too much until later on because they will drop. That, that, that head will drop after yeah. after that body shots and, and, and that chest punches and just get him off constantly because I used to have this tremendous, and I still have tremendous reflex, but every time that somebody tapped me in the chest or the shoulder, it restarts me. You know, and, and the guys like, like Crawford, when you get somebody hit you, that's why they always tell you, like, punch him in the chest, punch him in the body, you know, because you don't want to punch him in the head. They, they, they're they trying to trap you, like I always do. That's why I lean forward for people to hit me in the head, you know, and then I go out there and, uh you know, and counter afterwards, you know. But if somebody's tapping that, that, that body constantly, you know, then it's it's it takes me out, especially if I'm trying to, come back after that, that punches. The punches coming at me, I kind of go in and then try to throw in angle shots or whatever. If somebody's tapping me in the chest or in the body, it's hard for me to come back because it takes me off balance. And, and we know that, that, that Spence, his punches are not, it's a push punch. It's a push punch, which can derail your, your onslaught, can derail your, um, your balance, you know, and you have to restart. And, and that's why, in a way, both guys have numbers on each other if they perform according to what they're capable of. Okay, okay. So, I mean, this if it's a 50-50 fight on the books, who'd you put the bag on? I would go 50-52, man, because of the fact that if somebody shows up, you know, that's winning the fight. You know, if, if, if Bud shows up and he starts off early and he's jabbing, he's moving, you know, and he's fainting, you know, um, you know, uh, that's a bud fight. But then if, if Spence shows up there and then doesn't matter, just pushes him off and, and take him, takes his balance out, it's a Spence fight, you know. That's why that's why this fight has to happen because it's it's one of those fights that people don't really know. No matter how much they will say how good they are in, in, in looking at fights, you never know how this fight is going to be because of both guys can fight. Both guys have talent. Both guys, uh, you know, are there to fight, you know, and and that's what that's why this fight for us we're going crazy over it. <laughs> so if I see you at the fight, I'm pretty sure that you're placing your bets probably around the third round on the on the other round, right, yeah, yeah. King, right on your phone. Yeah. Like, it's like, all right, exactly. I know we should win the fight. Exactly. I, mean, well, I know who. I know. I know who got it. But the thing about both guys is they got both powers, you know. And and it's a matter of 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 uh, stunning the the other guy that takes away their momentum, and then you can create that. And that's why this is gonna be like this. 